This tutorial covers the basics of entering payments from a paper EOB into Premier. While the program makes it easy to manually enter payments, we highly suggest utilizing electronic EOBs to auto-post payments and adjustments into Premier. Auto-posting saves hours of time and costly mistakes by eliminating manual data entry. There are many ways to start a new payment in Premier. The online manual contains a payment tips section, which offers helpful hints on creating new payments. We will use the Enter Payment button located on the home screen to start a new payment. The payment screen is divided into three sections. First is the payment area. In this section, enter the payment amount, date, and reference information. Next is the list of existing payments with a remaining balance. This area is normally blank since most payments will be fully applied to service lines. If there are payments listed, that means they've not been fully dispersed. This is commonly the result of patients prepaying for services. Finally, the unpaid service line area. This is the area we will be dispersing the payment and entering adjustments. Now let's move back to the payment area and enter a new payment. Before we start, we need to select the source. Is it a patient or payer payment? For this example, we will assume that it's a payer payment and leave the selection as is. Next, we can select the payer from the drop-down list. As soon as we select a payer, notice the program has listed all the service lines that the payer is responsible for. Refer to the online help for information on responsible party. Next, we can enter the payment details. We'll enter $100 as the payment amount and press Tab to move to the payment date field. Premier offers a couple of shortcut keys when entering dates. Press the T key to enter today's date or the Y key to enter yesterday's date. We can also use the Date Selector dropdown. Next is the payment method. Select the method of payment or enter a new one. Enter additional references and notes as needed. Now the payment information has been entered. We can distribute the payment to individual service lines. The Auto Apply button next to the Note field is typically used for patient payments. We will enter the disbursements and adjustments manually. Following the paper EOB, we will enter the disbursements and adjustments until the payment is completely applied. Options are available on the right side of the screen to add additional adjustments or to show additional data entry columns depending on your needs. To start, place the cursor in the first payment field. Enter the amount paid and press the tab key to move to the adjustment field and enter the amount. Tab over to the next field and enter a reason code. Continue entering payments and adjustments until the payment has been completely dispersed. If the adjustment is for the remaining balance, Premier provides another keyboard shortcut. Pressing B in the amount field will automatically enter the balance due. You can double check your entries by looking at the remaining balance shown on the grid headings. Once everything looks good, click the Save and Close button. This tutorial covers the basics of payment entry. Refer to the online help for information about the payment screen's advanced features. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have any additional questions, please contact us or visit easyclaim.com.